Hey, middle schoolers, Mr. Riedel here. I am a teacher at HB Lee Middle School, and no matter if you're at HB Lee or at RMS or Walt Morey here in the Reynolds School District, uh, you are going to need to know how to sign into Teams and Outlook on your iPad. And we're all going to do it the same at all the middle schools. So let's take a look at how we do that with your new iPad. Okay, so when you turn on your iPad, you're going to see the home screen. You need to find Teams. This app right here, Teams, uh, you're going to need to sign in. So enter your email, phone, or Skype by tapping on that. And you're going to enter your student email address, which is your student ID number. And after you type in your student ID number, you do the at sign and then students dot rsd7 dot net and that is your student email address so go ahead and tap sign in and then it's going to ask for your password so go ahead and type in your password and you should have already gotten your password when you got your ipad and then tap sign in you can see this little thing moving here it's going to take a minute or two to sign in and then you want to make sure that you allow notifications and stuff and then this is what it looks like you have activity feed here on the bottom and then the chat window and then um, the teams window and there's nothing in there right now because uh, it hasn't gone through yet since it's the beginning of the year if you tap on assignments then it will show that some of your classes are listed but they haven't been activated yet so eventually they'll be activated and then you'll have assignments you tap on calendar you can click ok and this is where your events and stuff will be for teams and then you can tap ok to access con contacts and this is where you can call people friends and there's other apps too that you may or may not need so let's go back to chat so if you tap this button at the top to start a new chat, you can enter a name, email, group, or tag. And then, so I'm gonna type my name, Riedel, and then you tap on the teacher or whoever you're trying to contact. And then you can type a message down here. Hi, Mr. Riedel, I have a question. Can you please help me? Thank you. And then you tap the little arrow to send the message. And then it's kind of like chatting or texting where you can get a response from that person you can add emojis and stuff like that. You can attach files or whatever messages and uh, respond back and forth. So that is the chat function on Teams. And it's not just teachers, but any other employees at the school or um, your friends you can chat with too. But this is a little bit more informal. This is just chatting. Uh, if you want to send an email or if your teacher told you that they sent you an email, you're going to need to use Outlook. So go ahead and tap on Outlook and open up Outlook to use email. Tap on Add Account since you're already signed in uh, with Teams. You just add account to add it for Outlook, and then uh, you don't need another account. So tap maybe later. And uh, turn on notifications so that if you get an email, then you will know that you got an email. Um, send you notifications. Yes, allow. Um, so. Danelle Heikla is the HB Lee principal, and she already sent out a family newsletter. And she sends it not only to the parents, but also to the students. And so the students can see the family newsletter here. And you can see she sent the message and the link so that you can read the newsletter. You can just tap on that link and then read it. And then if you want to reply to Ms. Heikla, then you can tap here to reply um, to this email and then you can write her an email hi ms heikola thank you and sincerely your name um whatever you want message you wanted to tell her if you want to send her a message you don't have to go ahead and send that by tapping that if you want um, and then you can look on the left and see there's a bunch of emails if you want to send a new email to anybody then you tap on this button here and then you let's say we want to send a message to Mr. Riedel. You type in Riedel, and then you find me in the list, or you can just type in my email address here. Um, write in the subject, 
and then write the message. This is a little bit more formal, so you want to write it kind of like a letter. Whatever the message is that you want to write, usually emails are a little bit more formal than chatting on Teams or something like that. But whatever method you want to communicate with your teacher, that is fine. And send it by tapping on that arrow in the corner. There's also other stuff in Outlook, like a calendar here at the bottom and a search bar where you can search for stuff in Outlook. So that's just about it. Outlook is basically used just for email. All right, so that is how you sign in to Teams and Outlook and how you use them to communicate with your teachers and your friends. And hopefully that will be useful to you as you start the new school year. All right, thanks for watching, you guys.